that last video was horrible quality. Um, what I was saying though was this dude Larry Gators, beware, be wary of him because he's, I don't know man, he's weird. He, he's blind in an aspect of one side and he's, he's just, he, he's guided by his heart. Um, you know, he was quoting 1 Kings 18, which is actually one of my favorite chapters in the Bible with Elijah and he, uh, faces off with the prophets of Baal but Larry he calls the left the prophets of Baal which there are prophets of Baal that he did call out but he's completely blind to the fact that Trump surrounds himself with prophets of Baal as well considering you know he went to the Catholic Jesuit dinner and I believe it was 2016 it could have been earlier um but if you compare Catholicism to the scripture, you're going to find that it's an imaginary friend that they're worshiping. It's not God. Um, he also is lost in his discernment of, well, not even discernment, but knowledge of darkness and light. He has no idea that God is in control of the dark as well. He thinks that Satan has power over the darkness but that's not true because God creates dark and light good and evil he lets us be ignorant he lets us be blind so that he can lead us and sh show us light so that he can be the one to bring the light to us he lets us be ignorant in that I put a video in my wisdom playlist uh, earlier about a guy uh, Wayne from Tribulation Saints sharing a story about an atheist and uh, it I've shared uh, other stuff within that comment too or within that video too about this basically darkness and the light but Larry has no idea that God controls that um, Larry also said on the Alex Jones show that he's a contract killer which is kind of alarming. Why would you say that, truthfully? Um, especially if you are saying that you are a preacher. It seems like he seeks darkness without knowing, which is what darkness really is. He's in darkness himself. And this is what, I, what I've told uh, Devon Avenue, you know, people put words out there and they don't understand that they're actually building more ignorance around themselves than they are light for others and themselves. Because what we say, we're supposed to be listening to ourselves. You know, we can't just be speaking and not listening to what we're saying. A preacher profits from, a teacher profits from his lips. You know, it's just wisdom. You have to listen to what you're saying. And when you don't and you say stupid stuff like that, you're going to put yourself in the darkness that you perceive as the devil. Which the devil doesn't even come to us in darkness. The devil comes to us in light. But it, he masquerades himself as an angel of light. But he's not true light. You know, he's a sweet light. There's no salt, saltiness to it. There's no bitterness to it. But yeah, that's all I have to share about him. All right, peace.